weird or like it's it's physical form that might have been a bit off to how deers typically like behave are. Was it basically. slightly bigger than normal deer? Yeah. <laughs> was it a Chad deer? <laughs> I'm kidding. It, is was it, it was too dead of the box? Does it not have a heartbeat? <laughs> <laughs> no, just it was there anything off with it in general, I guess. Roaming or nature? Nature. Get a 20. Get a uh, 20. Get a 20. Could uh, I mean, it's close. <laughs> yeah, Slow can roll. I mean, Slow could just use her ability. Should have to touch it, though. I don't know if it's right. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a touch? Oh, my bad. Yeah. Wait, it's, uh, oh, that would definitely have changed. Oh, well, I already said it too late. Actually, she's your packed familiar. I'll say it has a range of, like, 30 feet. Oh, in that case, then, yeah. Uh, she would have used it. But it does take, like, a whole action to, like, do. Mm -hmm. Like, so she can't just, like, spam it on everyone you guys walk past. Uh, actually, no, she's really small. Make it 15 feet. <laughs> she's really small. <laughs> yeah. She just has a weak Mine's presence. Fair. Yep. Uh, 19 on nature. Seemed like a normal deer. Yeah. Just uh, a bit spooked, but to be fair, I just jumped into a group of people. and Yeah. And even though like you guys have a 30 people. stealth roll, mm -hmm. I don't think I noticed you were here until you noticed it, it was, was here. too late. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just it's just spooky um, general. Silas at a sixteen, yeah, there's no one here. Uh, uh, Sloan what? would Sloan would remark, um, because there's no way a deer is fucking saving a charisma saving throw. Um, <laughs> it is an unaligned creature, as beasts are. Yeah, that was just a deer. Oh, I thank. Be too careful. That Could was... what was it? It was spooked. After it discovered us, like it wasn't running away from something, correct? I believe so. Uh, Silas with a 16 know. insight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was probably in the middle of running, frolicking, I guess you would say, in a certain regard. <laughs> but no, it wasn't running away from anything, right? Because deers could just run fast because God made they them that way. <laughs> they build different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Silas yeah, so. will just. Narrow their eyes still, like they, they, they've they've been just <laughs> yeah, as it runs time. by, they narrow their eyes and they're like, Are you, are you a fucking weirdo? Uh, and then, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy that this level of paranoia has been achieved. That even a random deer is <laughs> worthy <laughs> of inquisition. Stop everything for 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, you brought it up, so I'm like, Is there oh, something wrong with it? Would you uh, have brought it into the scenario? It would. It's just See, a deer. I, I know certain D and D campaigns are like, yeah, I don't like random. I mean, first, I'm not the biggest fan of random encounters either, but I don't hate them. I think it's it's the little moments like this. Yeah, where it's just random shit happening makes the world more real, mm -hmm. and proves the paranoia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shoot it! Hurry, kill it now! If it's if it's normal, we can eat it. If it's not normal, we'll kill it. <laughs> As I jump it's away, normal, Morgan just appears out of the fucking <laughs> <pack laughs> <of> the Skunk <laughs> scoop. And she goes to start her like back of the head as soon as like, her suspicion's done. She's just like dinner, maybe. Food. <laughs> Food. I don't know if it's worth chasing it. Oh, it's gone now anyway. Um. But at least it wasn't running from anything. It was no, just sure. kind of casually, yes. casually looks in the direction that it came from, trying not to look obvious about her. Like, is there anything chasing? <laughs> you look towards that but, direction for some moments, but nothing. Yeah. It didn't seem panicked more than seeing us, at least. Yeah, we'll say that. We'll say that. If we see a dude with like a second hit or something, then I'll start panicking. Honestly, that <sighs> would be almost acceptable because that would mean the whisk is desperate and trying to make itself known. Or it doesn't have time to hide. I feel like Are... it would just be a fucked up deer at that point. Are I mean, sprites vegetarian? Are what? Are what vegetarian? What? Are sprites vegetarian? They're like fake. That's a real good question. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know. I, I imagine a sprite I mean, is like. Can you see? Teeth. Maybe they eat bugs at the most, but can you see? Yeah, a that's what I was thinking. Eating any a bit of a. Starter. Well, like, what if like they hunted rabbits? Like, like we would hunt like a big ass like buffalo or something. That'd be sick. <laughs> yeah. that'd, be, that'd, that'd be that'd be so pretty cool. fun. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm I'm reading the lore on them, the info thing on five e two. It doesn't say so. They so, are not. They, they are bugs. not weak. <laughs> they eat <laughs> they meat, and like they probably do eat a lot of bugs. Though I will say that I, I do agree because mm -hmm. bugs are good yeah, protein. Yeah, it's good protein. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, so yeah, you guys gotta continue. Like <laughs> I want you to give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Man, the egg is as big as you. <laughs> Did I stutter? <laughs> 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 I want it. She's. 
She will take five so, bites and be full. <laughs> so, uh, you guys make your way through the woods, having an unexpected little four-legged quadrupedal guest, and that's all it was, right? You guys begin splitting off. Uh, one team going towards... Well, here's the thing, right? They're not far from each other. They're like like a couple hundred feet from each other. So, uh, But you guys nonetheless do split because one team is going to be, be a bit more obvious. Uh, Ajax will stand watch. <laughs> uh, marks. He's, he's not terrible at investigating. That's sort of part of a wayward's job is to investigate like, crime scene scuffles death row location stuff like that uh that being said sleuthing through someone's house is not a part of it usually mm. sometimes but not usually i'll keep watch out here there's no one inside mm. the door is locked for all of like five seconds of noticing <laughs> yeah. that and then it is suddenly unlocked i imagine it's a pretty mundane lock so amber doesn't even have to try I can do this blindfolded. Lizzie puts her hands over her eyes. Alright, do it. Does it? Shit. No, she's gotten much better. Maybe lockpicking isn't really a visual. Yeah, it's lockpicking. <laughs> there's, no visual, there's no visual basis for lockpicking. So yeah, you guys have entrance into the house. Uh, this one was, I need multiple drawing board slides. Uh, can, can you duplicate? It's archive. Uh, but imagine you should be able to. Uh, you should be able to duplicate I it. Yeah, oh, there yeah. it is. There it is. There it is. Duplicate page. Uh, I don't care about the any of these. Okay, so just duplicate the. <laughs> it's just one slide. Care about, uh, any of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you could duplicate map layer, GM token layer, and then token layer, which is pretty handy, right? Because like, you want to like duplicate the map, but nothing on it, so it's pretty handy. <laughs> um, so I'll just do like a quick sketch of Rex's abode. Um, so we have the. See, it's not exactly a perfectly circular tower back in the heyday, but uh, just more like a, like a, like a bow, like a bun. There you go. Uh, it has a garden, a quote-unquote garden, more like a yard around it that has uh, again like black pike fencing that goes about a bit above your your waist, probably like more on the sternum height area. Uh, I should make this black. Black. Oh, it's two lines. Select all. Boom. Actually, I'll be even smarter. I'll, I'll draw this on the map there to start out with. That'd be a lot smarter. Alright. Uh, so, entering into it, it's, it's a very Spartan house, I will say that. So, probably something you're pretty familiar with being from so far. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's see you got a it, it's basically just a box to sleep in that's safe. Basically. Yeah. There's a kitchen, <laughs> so you can cook things in it, but... Yeah. Um... Uh, yeah, it breaks down. So right, down, down, down. these are doorways. Um, there's a boop, boop. It definitely is... has been like renovated from its original like guard function. I will say that. Right, right. That's that's pretty pretty obvious. Boop. It it is a home. It's just a very sparse home. Yeah. <laughs> the house, not a home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably that's probably a good way of describing it. I think Morgan is doing the thing that uh, Garth does. I, I won't, like, snoop around until you're done with this. But she's probably doing the thing Garth does when it's like, I'm not supposed to touch things. Where I, she'll, like, put her hands behind her back and hold, like, one hand, like, by the wrist. Like, finger loop kind of thing. It's like, don't touch things, just look at stuff. <laughs> if you remember LACMA, I was doing that constantly. <laughs> very, very good. You shouldn't be touching stuff. I already told you the story of the lot. First time I went to Lockman, mm -hmm. and one of the exhibits broke. Funniest shit ever. I was like, hey, something's broken. The guards just like, get out of here. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> thought it was funny because the, the the guards were following me and my buddy because, like, in fairness, we're like, we're two college dudes just walking around the place. Yeah. But then, oh, the irony. Maybe you shouldn't have been looking at us, bitch. <laughs> oh, the irony. Karma. <laughs> In, in relation to this, I saw the other day, uh, I think it was actually yesterday, um, someone, like, went to the Rome Coliseum and carved their name on the wall. Yep. And of oh, course, they're stupid, me. they filmed I it for fucking that. TikTok. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that, really pissed me off. that really pissed me off. Oh, it's, so, it's great. Um, and now, apparently, he's just begging, like, please don't throw me in jail, because they're like, we're gonna throw you in jail for five fucking years. For yeah. a national monument. <laughs> please. 
Oh god. It's like, uh, not yet. Um, what a oh, fanny. And... Yeah, right. Poop. Poop. It's up there with the people that were doing uh, like tomatoes there at, or tomato paste at, um, fucking... <clears throat> oh, well. Mm. So, stairs. Front entrance. Uh... Yeah, so that bathroom? is really small. This is really small. Bathroom, maybe? Kitchen. Oh, yeah, bathroom. the bathroom. The poop room. Um, bathroom. The outside kitchen. Nah, I'm just spinning it there so I can just copy and paste these. Yeah. Bathroom, bathroom. Why does he have two bathrooms? It's guard quarters! Or it was a guard oh, quarters. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pantry. My brain, my brain, when it was like said renovated, it that. just said wipe. Ep <laughs> it just said wipe the slate clean, and then build up from like basically nothing. So it's like, why would you build two bathrooms? It's like, well, I had the wrong idea. I, said, I put dining hall here loosely because there's only like it was originally meant to be a dining hall. Um. So let me know that this is not a bedroom. It's a rest room, not in like a bathroom sense, but it's like if you it's are on guard, rest. if you're on guard here or you're about to be on guard here, you could catch a breather here. Hmm. Or if you just came in from the road, you can chill here before you had to get back onto it. There you go. Did we ever learn why this tower was Ooh. left alone anyways? Nope. Hmm. So, you guys enter in. This was here beforehand. Hey Jax, is this gonna chill? He's, he'll turn the uh, dining hall. He'll just send one of the tables. Excellent, excellent. Is there like a window oh, to I've had him observe out? Oh yeah, that's a very good call. It's um windows. I imagine there's probably see, one there here, one in the kitchen here. It's smoky. Here. 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 Saw that Alec. And I think that'd be it. Yeah, that'd be it. Anything else would be structural weakness. Fair. <laughs> are they are they proper windows or are they like No, you would have they're the like arrow slit ones upstairs. Yeah. They're they're barred. Right. Hmm. Say Amber. Workshop of pantry. Why is she so... I don't know why that is. I'll check it later. Babe. <laughs> Babe. Babe. <laughs> so yeah, you guys enter in. Pretty sparse place. Alright. Oh, I... There's technically be one other thing. Like, uh, there'd be like a so like how we have in the, the trap door to the dungeon in uh, Black Watch. Uh, there'd be like a fireplace that's shared between the common room and the dining hall. I do love that design. Mm -hmm. Um, anything else? No, I think a bit. So, where should we start? You're the one with more experience with breaking into people's houses. I mean, like, walking around the place, being very mindful of her step. Mm. Did he even, like, going in the kitchen, is there any evidence of him, like, making food this morning? Uh, this morning, no. Okay. So might have just There's, like, food it. here, like, oh, open, like, cut down, uh, sliced, like, meats and stuff like that, like, you know, hanging meats. Are there and meats? such? No. Actually... There would be. There would be, because uh, Svenja stops by here all the time, so yeah, he probably has like a shit ton of them. <laughs> he collects them. He doesn't eat them, but he collects them. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. That actually, that is a question. Why am I focusing so much on the fucking cookies? Anyways, um... Do they look like they're, like, aged? Or is it just like, oh, they're like a week old or something, he just eats them occasionally, or like, toss them outside to birds? Smelling them? These seem fresh. Fresh. Okay. Like, so she... like a couple of days, maybe yesterday fresh. Right. Okay, so she brought him more than one cookie. <laughs> she will not disturb that. Um Amber goes upstairs. 
Good for her. I'll make my way that way eventually. <laughs> I want to see first, like... Okay, first off, I should clarify this, because I didn't clarify it until just now. She she wants to keep a bit of an eye out for... Maybe not traps, per se. Because we were told outside was trapped. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's something inside to at least leave evidence of someone was in her house that wasn't you. Um, So she's trying to keep an eye out for that. Uh, but I also want to spy on what the fuck he was doing in this workshop, if anything. Robot investigation. I can do that. I th think I have a Kensai Dai thing, actually. We're, we're going to be approaching fucking light Yagami level death notes shit of, like, detecting stuff. There's a piece of paper and a fucking pencil <laughs> lead that's a micrometer <laughs> thick. I put up the hinge of the doorway. Yeah, we're busting out that levels of, like, oh, I'm like so bad at capability. <laughs> a pregnant woman was here a month ago. <laughs> God damn it, Morgan. Oh. All clear. Hmm. This certainly is a workshop. Is this a workshop? This is the pantry. No, this is the workshop. You no, this is the pantry. You enter into the workshop. Again, your guys' characters aren't... The, the investigation isn't determining it's a workshop. It's determining anything's nearby, and your characters aren't blind, deaf, and dumb for failing roles. You enter into the workshop, and the place is very immaculate. Not in the sense of it's not used, but in the sense of everything is prim, proper, tidied, and put exactly where it right. needs to be. To the point where if you move towards which are hanging on a wall ahead of you, you'll probably see the imprint of, like, they're always in this position all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're very, very, almost like an OCD level, like, put in a position. Like, like inside a, the like workshop a are boy, take care of his gun kind of thing. Basically. Inside the workshop itself are a number of different tools, leather workers and things of that sort. Uh, queerly uh, well used in proper maintenance of gear. None such gear is present at current, uh, but you do spot you know, the armor stand where you assume Rex leaves his armor and everything like that. Um, there are some ores and other metals in here. You're not exactly sure to what end, maybe as like fi like finishing touches or uh, honing rods and things of that sort. Or making your own honing rod, if you're crazy enough to do that. But yeah, other than that, the place is, prop is in a proper maintenance location. Like, it's not a fallen armory. Because it definitely doesn't seem like Rex carries more than one piece of gear, which isn't too like, surprising. You need. Yeah, you wouldn't need like a second <laughs> armor plate Maybe armor set, like, which is a cheap breastplate or something in case you desperately need one. But like, <laughs> Maybe, but in fairness, the town has blacksmiths, so. Yeah, um, so. It's a, you know, logistical question at that point. Aside from that, though, place seems clear. Mm. Amber comes back down. The upstairs is. A bit smaller than the upstairs, so they saw uh, external, and she has like her chin underneath, or her finger on her chin, just sort of pondering. This place is. She just thinks how I say it. So, right. falling into the 10th degree. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the sort of man the captain is, but this place is. I don't know. Idyllic. Almost like I just walked into a landscape portrait. That's a fair way to put it. Hey, looks over in the workshop. Meticulous. Seems like he was probably... Work off assumptions, he seems like he was probably some sort of military sort. Um, well, he doesn't have any trophies or war medals. Conflict medals upstairs, so she shrugs. Maybe he's a mercenary. Mm. Could see that transitioning. Hmm. How stocked is the pantry? I'm imagining barely enough. Uh, it's decently well stocked. There, uh, it's a lot of utilitarian sorts of foods, lentils and beans and stuff like that. Rice and dry capacities. Uh, there definitely are other uh, more nutritious components, you know, sort of vegetables and fruit. Uh, definitely lower on the vegetable and fruit side, given that harvest uh, is yet to fully happen. But, you know, it's there. Uh, lots of meats, but meat, they're like preserved. So you can buy a bunch of them in bulk, uh, things of that nature. There are other like more extravagant, luxurious things in here, but they're very, 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 very few and far between it's like basically it's like oh yeah we have high-end extra virgin olive oil right that is high-end right or garum right in the roman mm. empire 
you could buy garum that was worth more that was more expensive than fancy wine. Right? Like it was that fucking ritzy garum, and garum is just fish sauce. It's not to that extreme, but along that same like line of logic, right? There are more fancier odds and ends here. All of them being condiment based, stock based, you know, something that you can get a lot of and hold on to it. Versus like buying a fancy fruit that's gonna last you a week. <laughs> uh, there is no flour or anything. I think I'll probably be uh, one of the more peculiar things, but even then, it's not that peculiar. Yeah, like if he doesn't do a lot of like baking or baking, anything, if he just gets his bread in town, then it's like, yeah, there's no reason to have to exactly. Hmm. I, I just to feed the mm -hmm. paranoia in my head, there, there's not like flour on the ground or anything, like anything that's on the ground is like no. dust. Okay. No, nah, no dirt or anything. This place is spotless. Make sure you knock off your boots is before it... you come in. Mm -hmm. Is it, like, fucking possible to keep this place this clean with how busy this guy is? I think she's just mumbling that kind of stuff out loud. Um, no, she wasn't. Uh, she peeks into the pantry, sees all that, uh, looks back to Amber and says, uh, I'm not great at spying on physical things. I'm better at people. Do you know? Could you try seeing if there's like a basement access around here? I'm not sure if this close to the lake there would be a potential basement in this tower. There's nothing outside, and I haven't spotted anything. Hey, Liz! Yeah? Doesn't suppose you spotted a wine cellar or anything. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Much to my chagrin. You see Lizzie's just hanging out by the fire. Still lit? Sort of scanning across, uh, kind of scanning around the room. What's up? Was it still, like, lit, or was it just smoldering? No, it was burning. I don't know if we can determine how long it's been burning, so he's probably going to be back soon-ish, I would imagine. I don't think you would just leave a fire unintended unless you're going to be back. Relatively Maybe you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but me, an arsonist who can't stop, can't stop burning things. I can't stop. Even I was actually house. just about to get up and go make lunch, so we'll see if I remember to shut off the oven this time. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Please remember. Yeah, I'm down there. Mor Morgan would head upstairs just to spy and see what Amber was talking about. Sure. Uh, the upstairs, I'm not going to draw it up because yeah. I don't have enough space to work with, but the upstairs is broken down pretty... Uh, there's a large common room up here, very like larger than the one downstairs, to the point where it basically encompasses like a third of the upper floor area. And this common room has a number of tables laid, uh, sort of populating it. All of, um, let's say more of like uh, equipment rack sort of style. Uh, that being said, it is definitely lacking in said equipment. There are some odds and ends up here. Uh, bows, guns, that cool. sort of thing. Uh, blades. But nothing nothing crazy. So I guess you would call this a makeshift uh, arsenal or armory. Right. Uh, but going Not past there. that, it does lead into like a hallway where a number of different bedrooms are. Um, one of which is larger and a bit more decorated. Like the door itself has a bit more trim and polish mm -hmm. and uh, fanciness about it, and looking into it, it does seem like this is, looks to be the captain's bedroom. Uh, compared to the rest of the building, it's not as sparse or spartan. It does have some decoration here and there. You do spot some of uh, Svenja's work uh, pinned here and there. Um, but other than that, uh, it's not like uber extravagant in here either. Uh, there being Svenja's, I, I assume he probably then sleeps in that place that seems like a logical deduction especially if he's putting art up on the walls i was thinking like he's maybe he wouldn't sleep in the biggest fanciest place no he does um yeah. it, it, it's it it's not that much fancier it's just a little bit like a yeah. touch bigger a little bit fancier little the other nice. ones just seem to be more akin to like guest rooms and looking in their contents of like the uh uh armoires and things like that uh they're they're empty like the furniture definitely doesn't seem original to this place just because it just seems a bit more smoothed and polished compared to some of the stonework and rougher woodwork that is ingrained into the building. Uh, but regardless of that, it's empty. No guess. 
Which, not too surprising. Yeah. Um, with Svenja's art being up there, could I do similar to what we did? I, I don't imagine there's anything to draw from these, because I don't know what she drew exactly, but, like, ha, draw from these. Um, she just wants to see if she could get more insight on the kid and see if there's any more she could pull from this. Yeah. About, like, so, what might be going on. Yeah. There are several drawings up here, so I won't dig in deep into all of them, but roll me your um, art supplies. Sure. What stat would you desire me to use for this? Wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. Could I throw Kensai Die on this? Nah. All right. Uh, let me make sure that's ticked off. It might still add it, though. Uh, normal? I imagine normal. Well, I rolled really fucking good on the first one. I'd still say normal. Normal, okay. Like, like the, the rolling well in the first one would allow you to do it in the first place. Right, right. Uh, uh, 25, though. I don't know why there's so a plus two on that. Guidance? Did die? Well, I, I want to be die? there. I don't have... Yeah, I kept the Kensai die for some reason. I ticked it off on my sheet, but I guess I didn't tick it off soon enough. So, 25. Uh, there's a number of different scenes, displays, that Svenja has illustrated all across all of these. They're not in, like, a story arc sort of way. There's not, there's not a storyboard. She's not describing as anything like that. Uh, you do see a few different things. Uh, one is uh, her and her father, or at least who you assume is her father, having never seen whoever she looks like. Yeah. Uh, but he's one of the like he's a, a figure that you don't I recognize any characteristics of, uh, because you haven't seen him in town, obviously. And it's them uh, fishing on some rocks, like a big like rock found like formation like by the waterfront. Yeah, right. just vibe. Sitting on some rocks, you see like a time. fishing, like a fishing hovel, uh, further up from them. Like a, like a cliffside, I guess. Mm -hmm. It was describe it. Um. You see uh, Svenja uh, helping her mother in the kitchen. Just sort of like basically helping uh, courier uh, different materials to her. Uh, there are a lot of fruits <laughs> in this one for some reason. You're not exactly sure why, but there's a lot of like lemons. You assume lemons? Okay, could I do the, the fucking psychoanalyzing thing of like, hmm, there's lemons. That is symbology of XYZ ABC. <laughs> <laughs> They're lemons. <laughs> They're lemons. Yeah, they're fucking using lemons in a pie or something. I don't know. Ship should just love lemons. <gasps> yeah, she, you could use lemons to read invisible ink. No. Um, oh. I doubt yeah. the picture with lemons that says, please help me and my mother's a shape changer. No. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of lemons in there and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, you see one scene, she's actually hanging out with Captain Rex down what you assume is the dining hall because it's just them sitting in front of a fire. Just vibing just playing some game that you're not exactly sure what it is not because you don't know what it is because you didn't have a childhood more so that her illustration doesn't indicate clear enough what they're actually <laughs> I, playing i it's feel like, like it's a, a combination the of the table. two <laughs> line there's an extra line on top of the table where you're just like ah yes this game there's is a, made of game <laughs> there is a board i think yeah this is like strange? cool you've now narrowed it down to like several hundred games good job Svenja. Yeah, so um so stuff so like that um, you see Svenja at the top of um, the tower, the uh, chapel tower, where she's hanging out with the uh, priest. Priest? Yeah, priest? Mission missionary? No, missionary is someone that goes out. Priest? Cleric? Whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just them, like, uh, looking out from the, the uh, church tower, and she's just sort of illustrated the landscape going uh, westward. So, like, you see all the farmlands and forestry, mm -hmm. the lake, that sort of stuff. And it all matches up with what we've seen so far, or at least know of. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? <laughs> oh, God, there's <laughs> a castle on the lake. <laughs> no, 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 I just need to... Know. Okay. Um, uh, you see... You could see... <laughs> I re-roll that with a muffin? Or is that... Fu you know what? Sure, if you want to give me a muffin, sure. <laughs> You just pocket it. Uh, I don't feel like it's gonna be important. Now, nah, what's sixty four get? Okay. Uh, you you see, uh, Mayor Fry, tripping. Ah, <laughs> nice. I'm and glad she's, she's that. illustrated that. <laughs> um, you do see uh, a scene where it's her and Sabrina at the library. You assume it's like, I'm getting so smart at the library, sort of like vibe. Yeah. Uh, Wait, and that's a, that's it. A, mm. Library. 
And there's no, like, like, pin, like, you know how, like, in movies, there'll be, like, a map, and people will, like, break into this place and be like, oh, there's a map on the table, and see if there's pin marks, and figure out, oh, that's where they were going, because they put a pin on the thing. There, there's nothing indicating on the wall of something akin to that. Like, there was a picture here, but someone took it down. No. Okay. <laughs> They're actually nailed into the, the wall. <laughs> like, nail nails. <laughs> oh, how adorable. He cares for, He care her. Um... Yeah, is there any... Have we seen any religious symbology in this place? Mm-mm. Like None. Religious sort. But also, Morgan, I don't think has ever actually met Rex, so I don't know if she would think that. Hmm. 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 Can I see the... Uh, if there's... I assume there's windows up here, because they have, like, yeah. armaments for, like, range and stuff, so it's probably viewing out those. Um, can you see the... There are the, no, the there are no here? such slits here. These are actual window windows. Actual window windows. Okay. I mean, they're barred. Like, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like having a fucking convenience store in downtown LA. They're barred from the outside, but um, <laughs> but yeah, they're actual windows. Can you see the the bridge from over here? Oh, he's away. Can you see it from like the angle of like, oh, it's a circle? Or can no. you just see like, across? <laughs> no, not at this. No, not at this location. Not this no. Okay. okay. I think you'd barely be able to see under the bridge in general because just the angle of it would like. Yes, it's not gonna do so tour though. Right, right. Hmm. Hmm. Tango. I don't know what to what I could do to pursue a thought process with that. I was just wondering. She'll hmm. She'll just head downstairs. She'll head back to the group and see if anybody else has come up with anything, because Why are the blades up there? Ah, it's just armory. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Let's hmm. see here. Okay. Yeah, you come back downstairs and you see Amber's like sort of posted up on the windowsill looking out uh, this direction, which this direction is towards a bridge, the lake, right. and so on. Like Morgan would have been like upstairs here looking out, like similar. Yeah, you would have. Yeah, the master. The master, but the captain's room, where we were like, well, the captain's quarters had a window that looked out the, to the lake and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. So you would have been able to see there just fine. Um, view. Oh, uh, would she have been able to see like the fishing shack that uh, Svenja drew from up there? Um, no, but in fairness, you don't exactly have the full look of the lake. Right. Because like, there's a lot of forestry to the south of you this. that like yeah. blinds you to like a good like half of the lake. Yeah. But uh, as far as you could see, none. No, no fishing hut. What's a thought process? That's over later. But yeah, you come back downstairs and Amber looks at you. Anything? I don't think anything that you didn't find already. The collection of pictures were an interesting sight into Spenia's mind, but that's about it. The place doesn't feel right. Lizzie and I were talking about while you were upstairs. Uh, how'd you describe it, Liz? This place just doesn't feel lived in. No, like, I see the food at, at the kitchen, the pantry, and all that, but it just feels so lifeless. Sterile. Maybe he's just a boring guy. We know a couple guys like that. <laughs> Don't remind me. True, but in your point, everything is... Everything set in its place and left to basically not be moved. It's like a dollhouse. That's a good way of describing it. Oh no. We have nothing to continue with. In fairness, we have been a known quantity to the town for a while. She like leans against a door edge or the doorway. If he had anything incriminating, he definitely would have had the chance to squander with it. True. Maybe move it somewhere else. Also, be careful about leaning on anything that might have dust on it. He he might actually find that. Let him. Might provoke something. He 
You guys can see and hear Ajax leave the building. I just glance over to Lizzie, the person who knows him the best, and just like raise an eyebrow, gesture at sure. uh, that direction. She shrugs. He works in mysterious ways. To make it sound like he's a god. No, nothing so divine as that, but this is the truth. He just does things. I don't mind. Just an interesting fellow. Yes, he is. What? She she tries to be sneaky about it. She she does want to glance to see if Amber is kind of picking up on that situation. Although I imagine Amber's probably a little occupied by herself. Let me let me roll something for Lizzie. Let let her roll inside on me, rolling inside on her. Oh no no no! You're you're easy to read like a book. Um, <laughs> that's not what I'm rolling for though. Very good. She knows you know, you know she knows. You all know what's going on here. Is Lizzie playing it up a bit? Probably. Hmm. That's part of the fun. Uh-huh. Quite the guy. And where'd you find this boy toy? <laughs> Rude. Well. West of here. In the Fairlands. Ooh, that's interesting. What were you doing on the Fairlands? Well, I wanted to start a life adventure, and where be what better place to start than the frontier that was just recently unlocked? Fought a griffin. Well, she thinks of it. Fought, reconciled, solved, resolved a griffin? Resolved what the fuck does that mean? I'm with her on that. It was just misunderstood and taking out frustrations on nearby towns. You make it sound like a disgruntled teenager. Are we all? <laughs> I'm 20. <laughs> Guard says and you look so well for your age. <laughs> but that's really it. I mean, I'm sure Ajax wouldn't have minded the kill, but it got resolved. Hmm. Got a nice payout for it too. State sponsored. <laughs> nice. So what came, why are you out here? Well, Ajax, obviously. Right, but why did you follow Ajax aside from, I don't know, getting him to go somewhere else? You make it sound like I can just manipulate him into doing whatever I want. Amber just looks over sort of like, you know, I know, you know, you know. <laughs> I imagine it's not out to your wheelhouse. Meaning you're actively allowing him to pursue something of his own interest. I am. But... She thinks of how to say it. It's not... There's nothing wrong with being so generous and helping those close to you. She looks at Amber. At no cost. Amber rolls her eyes and looks back out the window. So around this point, Ajax comes back in. And I will roll a thing for Ajax. Let's see. Um, I guess survival. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> holy goddamn, boy! Chad. Chad. Chad, uh, Chad uh, Ajax. But, but before he says or does anything, Borg would request to see the, the mark. Just because he did disappear for a second. It takes him a while because he has to undo his like gauntlet, but he just holds it up his palm. Cool. Standard location. At least back in my day. Okay. So, why'd you disappear? I wanted to check out the traps. How? You tell a lie about a trap maker from the traps. Unless not, they're... Not sagely. <laughs> unless they're manufactured traps. But they're not. Oh. What'd you learn? They're definitely cripplers. But not killers. Sure. Captain of the Guard would probably want to take someone in rather than just eliminate them in the middle of the woods. They're rather... pointed in where they're set up. How so? Two-thirds are more on that side of the house. Pointing towards the lake and everything. 
And let me guess, the remaining one third is back that way? No. Huh? The other one third is pointing south. So he's only worried about that section. But not the road. Why does he have no concern for any of the townspeople? Any skulker can walk down the road. I mean, look at us. <laughs> we did come through the forest, though. And then we walked on the road and walked to his house. Maybe something to do with the little girl, Svenja? I imagine he could simply tell her to walk certain routes. Yeah, she definitely seems like a good man enough kid to do that. Exactly. So, why the lack of traps? Maybe he has nothing to be concerned about from that direction. Maybe. So then, what is he concerned about with the lake? Let's regroup with the other team. See if they find anything by the lake. And we can always make our way back here. It's not exactly hard to break in. No, it's not. Shh. Morgan didn't get a pace around the entire place. She does want to do... Just, like, one pass, basically, over the base... The, the ground floor. Sure. Just to see if, like, anything itches, like, her blind sense or anything. Okay. I don't think it does, because it stops at certain points, but I'll let you determine that. Uh, I will also remember that I have a thing to give myself a D4 on shit, but I don't think I would have helped with the fucking three investigation earlier. Walking around the place is not, like, a hidden space or a pantry or anything like that. Cellars, basements, nothing. Just dirt or anything. Yeah. Well, I guess Tango, there's cobble underneath you, but then dirt underneath that. <laughs> hey, Tango. Oh, man. Would you like to help investigate things? Here, hold this gun. This will, <laughs> get, answers from people. <laughs> this will get answers from people, buddy. That's how life works. But yeah, nothing nothing here on the ground floor. Cop. Get out of here. Anything else? I feel like anything I would get from, like, a potential insight, Lizzie already mentioned. I want to do that anyways. <laughs> what are you trying to insight? I suppose try to expound upon the, the dollhouse sensation of this place. I was like, there's one thing of, like, a very Spartan house that has very little interaction unless he needs to interact with it versus this is a facade. This is only exists to make someone come in and be like, oh, this is a normal place. Roll your insight. That's good. That's about as good as you can get. Um, Actually, no, that, I fucking rolled like a five? No, five. You mark down use your contradictory inputs. I do. Uh, let me make sure I find that, actually. Click that, click that. Did I do one of those already? Yes, I did that for an investigation. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's 28. Mm. Mm. I don't want to use muffin. <laughs> if 28's not good enough, I'm afraid. Yeah. So... There's not much more to describe on the sensation, not without knowing more about the man himself, right? No, no, wrong. Alessander himself is a military man, paramilitary, technically. But he doesn't give off that same sense of Spartanism or sparse uh, decoration. Right. In fairness, you guys haven't exactly lived, lived in a house yeah, house yet, house. though. <laughs> um, which, you know, noble manners are a different beast entirely. Yeah, uh, but without knowing more about Rex himself, it's hard to say what would, uh, how to say, what motive he has behind such decoration style or lack thereof. Like, the place is very muted in the sense of finery. 
like even the silverware here isn't even silverware it's like brassware copperware that sort of yeah, stuff like right like like some really functional ass shit not 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 no fine china in here it makes do. like earthenware instead of like ceramic that sort of stuff or, or wooden based um yeah again that sort of stuff so it's very very <laughs> you might almost call it poor impoverished in a certain regard if the place wasn't as well maintained as as it is then you would say that he's just broke. Because <laughs> this is all the sort of stuff like a, a vagrant would carry. Right. So thinks he... Clar d d d clarify if I'm wrong. So the things he does seem to use seem to be as utilitarian as it can come. But there's things here that are more than just utilitarian that are just... Does it seem like the other stuff was just here beforehand and he just didn't bother to get rid of them? Mm, no, hmm. you would like they're they're still used. I'll be a few and far in between the uses. So he didn't just they didn't get dropped into his lap, and he's forced to hang on to them. So he could just throw them away, or give them to someone else. So there's only a couple of reasons you assume he would hold on to them. One is because like they fulfill some function that only they can fulfill, or is their gifts, and that's why like you don't throw away someone's gift, right? Right. If if you like, them. <laughs> it's... It's, if you're not a shithead, um, yeah, this guy is just extreme, probably very specific types of OCD in a way, maybe obsessive collector. That's why. Probably you know he might have some sort of deep trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I have to use this fork or else. Ah, right, so like. That one had question, which are threes, but what do I don't see? Okay. Yeah, she doesn't have anything else specific, so I think she's done, I suppose. You head out then. And you regroup with the lake people. After they do their lake things. They're fish people now. Um, oh, hell yeah. let's see. 